We're at ground zero for cash one. Watch the intro and we'll be back with your challenge. Welcome to geocaching with you got a friend in PA. Co-starring Rob, the geocaching mobile. With fellow cacher, PA Fireman 3. From urban to mountaintop cache adventures. And everything in between. From micro to others. And, and even nanos, nanos too. too. Are you ready to have your geo senses tested? Here comes your challenge for today. Cache number one for today. You've seen the hike in. Three locations with a pill bottle. One, zip tied. Two, rock pile base of tree. Three, in the base of the little bush over there. Well, it's kind of a big bush now. <laughs> but, you know, mixed in the roots down at the bottom covered by some leaves. So we got a pill bottle. Let me look it up, because I forget. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay. Pill bottle, mystery cache. This one's down as a small, two difficulty, two terrain, three locations. It's that time once again for you to open that pole. Because it's time for you to pick. Is it location one with a zip tie? Is it location two in the rocks? Location three, is it at the base of the bush? Which one is it? Me, Robbie, or Keith? One of us is right, two of us is wrong. Well, folks. Mine's a good location. Do you think yours is a good location? Yeah. Do you think yours is a good location? I think that's the best. You think that one's the best? Wow. <sighs> well, somebody's got to give it up. See, now, I think mine's good. I mean, come on. Zip tied to a tree in the woods. How can you ever, like, not even think of that? Yeah, why is that zip tied up there? But then again, yeah. come on. There's rocks at the base of a tree. Giveaway, right? Come on, how many times have you walked up and go, rock pile, there it is. Yeah, but zip tie, come on. And then you got three in the base of a bush. We all been there, we all done it. Wow. <sighs> I hate to do it though. I really hate to do it. Do I or don't I? Mine's the best. But not for this cash. Oh, here goes number three. Three is gone. I agree with him. That's a pretty good spot. But you know what? Mine's better if it was for another cash too. You mean I win? You win, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You got to win the location. Right. <laughs> Let's let Robbie show you as we put it back. If the there we go. Good. All right, folks. Let me show you something. <laughs> you come down here. You pick up this rock. And it's right under there. <laughs> you pick up the rock and you throw it. <laughs> there you go, folks. It's out of here. All right. Well, we're on our way from location one. 775 feet to location two. Hopefully we'll be lucky and this trail will stay open. <laughs> We're just, uh, we're, we're just going with the flow right now, folks. <clears throat> I wanted to do a couple of videos that show our actual adventure rather than just, here's the cache all the time. There's a pipe up here. My one buddy goes out, goes out to work with, goes out and looks for deer antlers. He finds them all. Like imagine, yeah. I mean, all over the place. Then I went up there, that off the state game lines there at the lake, in that regular cemetery along, uh, what is that, 222 there or whatever? Mm -hmm. that, that people used in their 
How are we using the parents? Headstone? Where you pull out? Oh, you yeah. The flowers? That would be that would be neat. That's different. All right, there's a concrete pipe up and against the tree. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere good. Oh, yeah, there's houses way over there. Yeah, I guess I holy crap, there's houses there. Well, looks like we're getting up here to the main trail again, which is good because now we know how to get out of here unless we go deeper off the trail. Is this the main trail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I see stone again. All right. Now for the fun part. <laughs> Pretty much. Straight, straight up? Well, it wants you. It's pointing that way. Yeah, it probably, it probably. I'm wondering if going back up the hill here, there might be another trail. Right. Instead of climbing. Instead of taking a hard way. Instead of always going straight. See what we got up here. Since we didn't come this way, we could have passed something. If not, we could bushwhack in, at least it'll be flat. Oh, sweet. There, that's the way we need to go. All right, Keith. There is one. Two years ago, when I was up Milton, there's an old, they had the old Shepard D factory up there. And there's old there's a steel mill up there. There was a one one cache there three times I couldn't freaking find it. It was in a brick wall, but it kept jumping all over the place. It was behind the wall, a little bicycle drilled into a, a brick. Mm. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be joking. Well, was that a four? I forget what he had it at. It was I see those already as twos. I forget what it had it, but it was like, damn. Third time there I finally finally found it. I did one in Whitehall at a war memorial the uh the outside ring was lined in brick and then you know you had your mulch and flowers yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff uh the cash owner took one of the bricks out and put one in that had a hole drilled in with the nano <laughs> what you said it was a two <clears throat> no oh. that was a three there's one a memorial i think it's so my daughter practices at um what do you call it? Another brick in a wall? No, uh, he, he has a whole series out. Like, uh, oh, what the heck is it? it it'd be like, yeah, you can tell. It, it'll be like, you know, uh, oh, this must be where the, what the heck? Came up oh, it's, uh, yeah. he has a whole series called yeah. For Those Who Served. Oh. Yeah, I think they did come in this way. So my daughter practices down in, oh, I don't think... Bethlehem or is it? So, what high school? And right down from there, there's a memorial cache. I couldn't find it. It's listed as a difficult one. Hey, what kind of track is that? Like a bird, some kind yeah, of. A huge ass bird. I mean, it's like the one that's almost smoked coming in here. Ain't that like a baby rabbit? His two back feet and his front feet? Maybe. That could be a small rabbit. Oh, well, it wants us to the right. Good news, only 200 feet. <laughs> Looks like there might be something here. It looks like here a trail, like a little bit. Yeah. It ain't thick, at least, either. No, it's not too overgrown yet. No briars. Hush that mouth. <laughs> every time, every, every 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 time we just think it. Well, at least there's no briars. All of a sudden, ow! Had <laughs> open my mouth. <laughs> there. We'll, we'll be safe. Knock on wood. <laughs> I just knocked on wood for you. There looks more of those freaking lantern buds. Yep. And here. Coming to a tree near you. Lantern fly. Uh, they were all over these trees. Look at them all. Yeah. How they're just colored. Uh, it looks like we need to keep going, follow this trail here for a little bit. Somebody filled up something with oil over there. Four quarts of oil. Yeah. 
Or dune buggy, maybe. <laughs> well, I think a two-stroke, they got to put oil in the gas. Okay. For extra lubrication. Well, 115. Kind of ish this way. There's a pack there that goes outside. Yeah, no, we need to go under this down tree here. Or maybe around it. We back here in tick country. Yeah. Wow, these go all over the place. I just wonder why uh, God made ticks. They have no value or use for anything. Um. Yeah. What you call it? Eat them. Well, kind of copperheads do, um, and possums. Possums. That's they it. Eat, like every night, they eat their, like their body weight. Yeah, they they'll, they'll eat their body weight in ticks. I'm like, great. And eat more. I want to buy a couple for my house. I'm like, eat more. Well, that trail goes that way. This trail kind of, I don't know if this trail goes this way. And they're the only they kind of need to be rabies. over here. Huh. Yeah, they're immune to rabies. <sighs> um, they're just ugly looking. Yeah, see, no briars, see? <laughs> need to be in here. <laughs> well, up, trail. Got a trail, got a trail. Got a trail. 46. Maybe it's that We're getting closer. Found a tree stand. Another one. Another tree stand. Good. Don't shoot, we're only cashing. <laughs> oh, I just scared a bird. All right, folks. We are down to 38 feet. We're closing in on ground zero. That tree stand is chained in there pretty dang good. 29 feet. I think it is time that we sign off for right now until we make the find. Got ourselves a matchstick container. Continuing the geo art for cache number two. We got ourselves a matchstick container. Part of the geo art. This is a mystery cache. Micro. Two and a half difficulty. Two and a half. One and a half terrain. Should be two and a half. We're in pretty dang far from parking. So, it's a one and a half. Okay. It is what it is. You ready for your ground zero? There it is, folks. Three locations. Number one. Is it in the rotten tree base? Number two. Is it in between the two small trees under bark? Number three, is it behind the twisty vine under a geopile? You've seen three locations on where this matchstick container could be. Looks like it has a little damage from being chewed on, maybe by a local squirrel or a chipmunk. Now, folks, take the pole. Open it up. Look at your choices one more time. Number one, number two, or number three. Where can this be? Well, we're gonna do something just a little different. See all three of them? Robbie, why don't you go in and pick one that it is not? Which one is he gonna pick, folks? Is he gonna pick one? Is he gonna pick two? Is he gonna pick three? We don't know what's going through his mind. Oh, I did not see that coming. He took number two. Wow. Did you see that one coming? I didn't see it coming. I thought for sure he was going to take number three. I mean, come on, look at it. Look at number three. Look where it's sitting. Like, clearly number one's the winner. I mean, look at it. It's in the base of a rotten tree. Well, there's only one more thing that we can do. Keith, why don't you pick another location that it's not? Mm-hmm. What's he going for? Is he going for three? Is he going for one? Oh, one. oh look at that. Look at that. He it faked you three. out. What? Haha, <laughs> number three was the winner. Let me show you. You walk over here to ground zero. You fall into the tree. <laughs> Good spot. That would be a good spot. Number two back here, another good spot. But number three, take this container, slide it 
right behind the vine here. Cover it up. That simple. As long as you can find the trails to get back here. Which is why I don't think it should be a one and a half. Two and a half. Anyway. I think we have one more for today. Could we bring you number three? I think we can. Alright, we're going to make our way from cache number two over to cache number three. We got a quarter mile walk. Hopefully we can find ourselves a trail and go in the right direction right off the bat, which would be really, really fantastic. Not quite sure. Let's see what we find. I, I said to my, my daughter, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday. I watched it. The video. And I like, ooh, where should, where should I go next, next to you? And I, I was dreaming, I said, oh, I found all three of these. Oh, you did? Yeah, now the, the one with the, in the tree, that black canister, I found that one. The only reason I found it, because it, it was on the ground when I found it. The only reason I found it was me and my daughter were looking at it and I had to take a leak. I'm taking a leak and right there it is laying on the ground. I, said, I found it. I did that at one of them. I don't know if it's the same one, but there's one of them. I'm standing there. I'm like, I'm like, all right. And we're having a hard time. I'm like, you know what? Let me use the facilities. I'm standing there. And I turn my head. I go, there it is. And then I, <laughs> I met this thing. And I, I, I said to him, I found it on the ground. I stuck it in the tree. And I took a picture where I stuck it. I said, I don't know if that's the right place or not, but that's where I stuck it. This was a, right around here? No. Oh. He never got back to me. So I was like, Oh, all right. Wait, who's, who's cash was it? Oh, what's his, his first hideaway. That was called. Because when we were talking the horse, was it a film? Yeah, the black film canister. Oh. The one that you said it you fell out again. You, you well, this is I found this like last year. Oh, previous. Okay. Yeah. And I told yeah. him, I sent him a picture where I stuck it. I stuck it in one tree. I wedged it in there. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know where he wants it. I didn't know either, but there was a nice hole. Yeah. At the base of that tree. Because that one. I'm like, good enough for me. His one that I found last Thursday. Matter of fact. Was. That one might be coming out. Yeah. That one came out already. Yeah, oh, it did it? Okay. Right. It just came out. Yeah. His other one that I found down in, in um, at the lake down on the Maiden Creek. It, it looked, someone said, oh, it looks like it was just tossed on the ground. Hmm. Yeah. But that was a four and a half he had listed or something. I was like, all right. Um, that was the one in the log, right? No, no, that was, this was, a another film canister, and I was laying, like, where you, where you guys parked that, that time, we, when I, when I took you down, across the street, it's in those ones up okay. there. Okay, okay, yeah. It's, as soon as you go, it always goes to the right, the path, and it was okay. behind a tree laying on the ground there, yeah. underneath some stuff. Yeah. There's a couple of them now, I'm just like, really? There's some of them I seen from the trail. I'm like, really? Like that, yeah, but that one. You okay, Rob? Yeah. The one with the log, the next one that he had just sitting in in that. That, whatever, that log laying there. That the, was devilish, wasn't it? Yeah, that four and a half. I saw him coming in there. I didn't even have to watch the video, and I would have seen that sucker stuck out like a sore thumb. But the log, that was a pain. That one, I cursed him out how many times last uh, year I was trying to find that one. I'm going to make a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a couple of those caches and hide them up in this off the Appalachian Trail. I got fly, I got like four mile of trail up there. Oh, wow. That nothing. Th There's nothing. Jeez, that's why I don't put a series or something up there. To... Well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a nano at the beginning. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put a or traditional. Probably get bigger and bigger to go down. Well, no, I'm just gonna put a traditional and then I'm gonna put a multi that starts after the traditional that'll oh. take you in deeper. And then I'm gonna do another traditional and just keep going all the way in until the cache that's up there. And then that'll be a good Filler. four, four and a half mile walk where you can get a bunch of different caches, yeah. finish with a lookout, and then you can climb down the hill or you can climb down the mountain to a parking lot instead of having to walk back. That's you can use two cars. Yeah. All right. That's my game plan. So there's gonna be a bunch of hides coming up to that mountain. This year. Yeah, I still want to take the scene up to that. What is that called? The 100 mile. Oh, yeah. Up to Jim Thorpe, the 100 mile view. Ooh, that sounds good. 
You haven't been up there? No. Yeah. There's a couple of caches up there that we filmed. Sweet. Matter of fact, I have a video of it yeah, that even shows the view. Yeah, get up there I've probably seen that, I bet, yeah. You can supposedly see New York. Oh, wow. Yeah. You probably could. On a clear day, probably. But it's probably like a hill or something. Yeah. Getting there, 342. Wow, that quarter mile went fast. I mean, we're getting... Yeah, but we're going to be at a field soon. Well, maybe it goes around. That's straight ahead. Probably the path behind the trees and you just can't see it. Well, as soon as we got out of the woods, it went down to 999. I'm like, okay, well, this is quick. Quarter mile really isn't that far. No. It just sounds far. Because you get away from feet. Especially, fee especially you're not alone. When you're by yourself, it seems like it goes... Well, the other thing, too, with Cashley... As I'm used to my other GPS, yeah. it'll do a quarter mile, then it'll go to point two, then point one five, then point one, yeah. and then down to feet. Casually goes down to feet once you get under a thousand. Oh, okay. So that point two turned into a thousand feet real quick. It can't be up. Is that a farmer's field? Or is that part of That's field? farmer's field. I it can't be up there. So this is the edge here. So 160, 150, 140, straight ahead. I mean, we are going straight. 126. Will this trail end at a geocache? My guess is, yep. Wow. That was a big jump. We went from 120 to 60. Well, folks, we are approaching ground zero for number three, and I see the container already. So, at this point in time, we're gonna do what we normally do. Stop it, and bring you a GeoSense challenge. Cache number three for today. We got ourselves a clear pill bottle and cloudy skies. This is a micro mystery, two difficulty, two terrain once again three locations one base a tree in a hole two y of tree three in this dead grass and vine we're going to make this quick we're going to make this simple three locations have been shown to you you get to pick the right one it'd be a shame if you picked the wrong one tail bottle Three locations. Pull. Take the pole. He's thinking. My hamster got off the wheel, so. <laughs> well, folks, ready? Real simple. Nope. Nah. Yep. Number one, folks. Yes, it is that simple. Not as simple to get the camera off. You take the pill bottle, you hand it to Keith. Keith will then show you behind door number one. It's got a nice little hole in the tree. It fits right in there. We cover with bark. That's how we do it. Well, folks, the three musketeers have done it again. Three caches found today. Three challenges that I hope you did good on. Another fun afternoon. Now, this is our third episode we filmed today. So yes, I don't always go out individually and film. Three episodes filmed in one day, all back to back. That's why we're all wearing the same clothes, in case you were wondering. <laughs> well, now we are gonna wrap today up officially. I just wanna say something though. He likes to say he hopes you did good. I like to say, I hope you didn't. Ooh. <laughs> That's why we do this challenge. We want you to fail. Is Robbie laying down the gauntlet? We try to find really bad locations. I tell you to what. Make you go, you know what? I think you just drew the line in the grass. <laughs> Do you dare to cross it and take the challenge? If you did, that's why you're seeing this. Take the future challenges because they're all going to be good. They're all going to be challenging. And there are going to be ones that you're gonna get frustrated with. Gonna get wrong. Are you gonna get them wrong? Yeah, they're gonna get some wrong. Do, are we that mean when we do the hides? What do you think? 
You've oh, been yeah. out for a couple of times now. You you seem to be behind the scenes. I think they're. Are they're... we nasty sometimes? Not all the time. Or do we sometimes just find a better spot? Hmm. Mind blowing. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that to say that the cash owner did something wrong. Because there is that 50 50 chance that where we did find it, somebody could have put it there because they forgot where they got it from. So I'm not going to sit here and critique where we found them. That's not what I'm trying to do because they could be moved from the original spot. So maybe the spot sometimes that we picked that's like, man, that's a better spot. Maybe it was the spot. Maybe that's where the cash was originally until somebody else came along and moved it. You never know. That's why folks, as a public service announcement, put the cash back where you found it. That could be the right spot. Yeah, where that you should found be it the right spot. And how you found it. Yes. Not just wide open if it was As geocaching.com rules say, put it back the same or better. Ooh. But in the same spot though. Don't move it to somewhere that you think is better. Because then a cash owner could come out and go, crap, it's gone. Anyway, now that we're getting long winded, and if you're watching the long version of the video, you got to see all the hikes and everything. If you're watching the short version, why don't you go check out the walks that we did in between? Some okay conversations, some good conversations, talking about geocaching along the way, and a little look at what it is like out here on East State Game Lands that we're in. Sometimes you have a trail, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> anyway, before I finish that thought and really get lagged for not being PG, I think it's time to just shut up and wrap it up. So happy trails, happy caching, and go out and get a smiley. Thanks for watching again. Hope to see you again next video. Have fun, find some caches. Cash number. Am I even in the video? <laughs> yeah, I am. If I stand by that tree, I'm there. This is a mystery micro. You know, I should really look at these damn things. Two and a half. One Mystery Mike. Oh, yep, two and a half, one and a half. Oh, one and a half. <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs>